Today, we celebrate the feast of St. John the Apostle and Evangelist. He was the youngest of the Twelve Apostles. John and his brother James were fishermen. They were mending their nets when Jesus called them. Along with Peter and James, John was with the Lord at the raising of, Naz raising of Zyra's daughter, at the Transfiguration, as well as in the Garden of Gethsemane. At the Last Supper, this beloved disciple reclined at Jesus' side. John stood at the foot of the cross with Blessed Mother. Our Lord entrusted his mother's care to John. After the resurrection of the Lord, as it was mentioned in the Gospel today, John and Peter were the first of the apostles to witness the empty tomb. According to the tradition of the church, it is believed that John moved to Asia Minor and settled in Ephesus. He founded many churches in Asia Minor, and he wrote many important works. For example, the tradition tells us that John was the author of five works in the New Testament, the Gospel of John, the Three Letters of John, and the Book of Revelation, although modern historical criticism has called some of John's authorship into question. Around the year 95 AD, John was brought to Rome, and the Emperor Domitian ordered that John be cast into the cauldron of boiling oil, but miraculously he came forth unhurt. Later, John was exiled to the island of Patmos for a year. He died in Ephesus of around the year 100 AD. In his general audience back in 2006, Pope Benedict XVI said that, if there is one characteristic topic that emerges from John's writing, it is love. John wants to say that the essential constitu constitu constituent, uh, constituent of God is love, and hence, that all God's activity is born from love and impressed with love. All that God does, he does out of love and with love. Furthermore, in his Christmas homily, Pope Benedict XVI also said that God became a child so that we can no longer fear God, but only love Him. St. John the Apostle proclaimed the love of God throughout his life. That is why he is called the Apostle of Charity, a virtue he had learned from our Lord and which he showed by his words and examples. Today, as we are in within the octave of nativity of the Lord, let us ask for the grace to love our God deeper than ever. Once again, God became a child so that we can no longer fear Him, but only love Him, because God is love. St. John, pray for us. Amen. <laughs>